because it's nearly that time of year again. Everyone's going to get colds, flu, and hopefully not COVID. And you know you have the problem where you get to the end of the tissue box, and when you try and get the last one out, the whole thing moves around. Well, it's not much of a problem, but I'm going to try and solve it. So I've got some off cuts of oak. Now I'm going to give you a top tip. Go onto eBay, search hardwood off cuts, and you can get some bargains. That's what I did. Got these little strips, but I'm going to need to glue them up into panels first. So three is going to be the top of the box. Now I probably shouldn't have told you that because you're going to go and grab all the bargains and drive the prices up. But I guess it's too late now. By handy having tissues in the workshop, you can use them to wipe up any glue. With the panel for the top glued up, I need some for the sides. And two of these strips is going to be big enough to do the long side and the short side out of two. So I'm going to need two lots of two. So I leave these overnight to dry and then the next day I can come and get the clamps off. Now these need ripping down to the size of the box. So I take them over to the table saw and move the fence over so that it's just slightly bigger than the box. Now I can get these panels ripped down to size. I want to join this together using mitered corners. So I bust out my trend miter box, get that put on the blade and get it tilted over to 45 degrees. There'll be a link down below on the tools I use page to this handy little device. Now I can get the mitre gauge set up and start cutting the pieces. All four bits are cut, but before I start gluing them together, I'm just going to give them a quick sand down. Then I can get some PVA wood glue applied, get them pushed together, and I'm going to clamp them up using some of these Collins clamps. I'm a big fan of these for doing mitre joints, and these are on the tools I use page as well. With it clamped up, I just have a little check to make sure everything's square. And then I grab the tissue box to make sure I haven't made any stupid mistakes, but it seems to fit fine. I leave the whole thing to dry for a few hours, then I can get all the clamps off. Now I need to make the top for it. So I get the box on the saw, and again, I'm just moving the fence over so it's slightly bigger than the box. Then I can get that panel I glued up and rip down to size. To cross cut it, I get the mitre gauge back out and use a stop block to set the distance. Again, just doing it slightly oversized. Now, obviously the lid's gonna need a hole in it to actually get the tissues out. Luckily, I have a new box so I can use that little bit as a template. So I just draw a cross on the lid and on that little bit of card and I get it lined up and then I can draw around it. I'm going to cut it out using the jigsaw, but first I need to drill a hole for the blade to actually go through. So I get that done and then I get a nice fine small blade that can do tight curves, put in the jigsaw. Then I can get the workpiece, put in the vise just to hold it steady, get the blade put through the hole and start cutting it out. Now, I haven't done the best job cutting that out, so it's going to need some sanding. So I bought myself this drum sanding set from Axminster. So I'll stick a link to that as well down below. I'm going to start with the smallest disc they have, or drum, I suppose I should say, and get that put in and clean up. But then I decide to move up to the next size and use that as it perfectly refines the ends. With that done, I'm going to get glued into place. So I get a bead of PVA wood glue put around and spread out, and then the lid can go on. 
Now, I might have mentioned a couple of times that I made this lid oversized and that just gives you a little bit of leeway when getting it on and clamped up. So get a load of clamps on and leave the thing to dry. When the glue's cured, I can get all those clamps taken off. Now, did I mention I made the lid oversized? Well, if I didn't, I had. So I can grab the sander and sand down so the lid is flush with the body of the box. Now I want to add a roundover to the top. So I grab my smallest roundover bit and get it put in my little Bosch 12 volt router. And then I can go around the outside of the box and I'm going to go around the opening as well to ease those edges. to go over all those edges I've just routed and now it's time for some finish. I'm going to go for some boiled linseed oil. It's probably one of the cheapest and easiest to apply finishes you can get. I brush it on, leave it to soak in for a while and then just come back and wipe away any excess. So now let's see if it works. You just put it over a tissue box and pull a tissue out and it doesn't move, so success. So that's it all done. Really simple project. Maybe you'd say unnecessary. Um, not being able to get the last tissues out of the box without the box moving is not the biggest problem. But tissue boxes are also ugly and I think the cover looks nice. You could make it with a stand on it so there's something underneath that it hooks over, but. I tend to like a simple solution to a problem and something that just slips over the top is definitely the simplest. So another reason I wanted to do this is I had a new miter gauge in this video, a Jessen one, and I was testing it out and there'll be a video about it coming out soon. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.